One of our best-selling products were just delivered. I'm so excited to announce that the new 2023 Halloween mystery packages are now in stock. These sell out super quick every year because they are just so much fun. This year we put them in a reusable plastic bucket. You can even use it for trick-or-treating if you wanted to. The way mystery packages work in my shop is that all the customer knows is the theme. You will not know exactly what's going to be inside. All you do know is it's multiple fidget toys that fit that theme. I was trying to figure out where in my store I should display them, and I decided to turn this table into a Halloween theme table. That means I need to get all of these fidget toys in slime and move them somewhere else. While I worked on moving those fidgets, Matthew got the forklift and started taking the extra boxes out to the pallet. I took all of the axolotl stress balls and hung them up. I think they look pretty good. Then I took one of our axolotl slimes. We have so many axolotl items right now. And I stacked those on a shelf. Since our store is really small, it's more of a display room. We keep all the rest of our inventory in the warehouse. In fact, we built this warehouse to store our products that we use to ship out our online orders. And the store was just a fun little addition in the front of it. So I'll give you a quick little tour of what the back looks like. We have everything organized by category. So Matt is taking this to where the mystery packages go. You can see it starts with our avocado mystery package, then we've got our space mystery package, rainbow, unicorn, LED, and more. While he organized that, I went back inside and started putting out more Halloween items. These noodles are supposed to be spooky, but they're just so cute. We have a bunch of skeleton ones, as well as these cute little scarecrow guys. I just put a handful of each type and I'm mixing it all together so it's an assortment. There's just something so fun about noodles, they never get old. And this pell pink is literally so cute. Since I wanted this table to be Halloween themed, I started moving out all of the products that were not Halloween themed. So there was quite a while where I was just walking back and forth between the store. I had to move my animal noodles. Seriously, I'm not kidding when I say I love noodles. If any of these products look good to you, make sure to click on my TikTok shop link and get some for yourself. Finally, the middle shelf was clear, which meant it was time to start stacking the Halloween mystery packages. I actually wanted to do a double row, but when I started stacking them, the bottom row slid out from under it. I was a little disappointed at first, but honestly, I still think it looks really nice. The plastic buckets look so spooky. I realized I accidentally missed these dinosaur eggs, so I removed those and switched them out for these hands instead. These little mochi hands are so perfect for Halloween. I stuffed the container with as many hands as would fit and put it front and center on the table. Now I have to work on clearing out the bottom shelf. These sugar skull poppets are so beautiful. I love how the painted design crunches when you pop it. I'm just going to leave the zip faces, but remove these stress balls. I couldn't find a space for them, so I just hung them up, and I think that looks great. These glow-in-the-dark ghost poppets were such a big hit last year, we got a few more for this year. Now I need to find a new spot for these caterpillars, and I'm replacing them with these zip face stress balls. These things are so gross, but so satisfying at the same time. I'm just going to leave these lollipops because it totally reminds me of trick-or-treating. I have these jumbo slimy worms hanging in a different part of the store, but I'm just going to put them in this box so that I can put the box on the Halloween table. Let me know if I'm doing this right. This is my first holiday with a store. I am totally open to constructive criticism. Let me know what you think of this. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And definitely let me know if there's something you think I should take off of this table or put on it.